morning, you guys. guys. Hope you guys are doing well. If you're new to our channel, welcome to our channel. I'm Cheryl. I'm Nikki. So, if you haven't subscribed to this channel and you are watching this video or any other video in this channel, make yes, sure you hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button. button. And don't forget to click on that bell to be notified once we upload our video. As you know, we upload every Sunday. So, today we'll be talking about something like very important important topic, uh, yeah. i mean everything that we do talk about is it's important, important right so this one is but particular particular <laughs> <laughs> this one anyway, is yeah. important so we're going to be talking what to expect when you are pregnant in germany yeah. like yeah exactly being pregnant in germany being pregnant in germany exactly yeah. so you guys you're pregnant in germany don't worry it's okay just know that the german system like the health system is highly developed, you know. Uh, it offers great deals for both parents and the baby. For the unborn baby. Okay, now, exactly, for the unborn baby and afterwards. So don't panic. It's okay. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Exactly. <laughs> so let's get right on to the video. So you got yourself knocked out in Germany. It's okay. Don't panic, you know. The German government really offers so many benefits for parents you know so it's okay you know they know that your child is going to be a future taxpayer so yeah that's why they offer all these benefits and also the population is like you know they're older there's an older population or and, however you say it, you know? thinking, yeah. like older people you understand so as soon as you get pregnant and your employer <laughs> employer knows that you are pregnant that is the beginning of everything it is difficult to get fired when you are it's when like you're pregnant almost, they are not even allowed to fire yeah pregnant because woman. you've got this uh pregnancy protection yeah you know yeah. so from the shoots they've got organizations they've got laws mm -hmm. that bans you know the arbeit giver the employer so employee. do not worry you will not get fired right. so once you find that you are pregnant in germany the first thing you have to do is so first of all, go to your boss, tell them about the situation because from the moment they know you are pregnant, you are protected. But if you keep it, you don't know what may happen, you know, or one way or the other they may discover that you are being lazy and they fire you, you know, they will have all the full right because they never knew you were pregnant, one. Secondly, being pregnant and your boss know you are pregnant also protect you from doing heavy jobs, like if you are dealing with chemicals, dealing with injections, you know, carrying heavy people, carrying heavy things, you know, they might cut it short for you. Like, they might just put you in, the pool, in, some, maybe. Yeah, in some circumstances, you just have to be working in the offices. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be going where you can endanger yourself or endanger the unborn child, mm -hmm. you know. That's the second part. Third part, the, the system also offers maternity leave, which is, I think, um, six weeks. Six weeks before. Before your your due date. The mutter uh, shoots. Yeah, it's called mutter shoots. Man. Yeah. Yeah, six weeks before your due date and eight weeks after, after. you give, you must have given birth. Huh? Exactly. Yeah. Which means that you will you uh, you won't be left stranded. You understand? Yeah. yeah. You're still getting money from your employer. You'll be getting money from the employer. Or part the insurance or something insurance, like that. Yeah. Apart from the insurance, so which is egal. Hope at the mm -hmm. end of the month you go to your account, you, you get, get your, salary. your salary. Okay. How and how nice is that? Yeah. You know. But yeah. I don't know if this is for every contract and every blah. I yeah, don't no, know. No, no, no. Check your contract out and. Uh, you know, check it out. Yeah, maybe. it depends also. Like for people, I know for sure people with undefin with undefined for trap like mm -hmm. undefinite. Uh, how do you say indefinite? Indefinite. Yeah, indefinite contract. Contract. For sure, hundred percent. You mm -hmm. you have all those benefits. You know, mm -hmm. and there is also this urgent side, which exactly. is like three years. Ne? Yeah. You are you are free to take three years, guys. Mm -hmm. You know, the man can decide to take it. The woman that decided to take it, you know, like in our case, I'm thinking of taking the the maternity leave. This is so what lazy can, guys no, she, say. So she can go back to work. You know. You know. And you know what? Um, this Elton side actually is not. Uh, you can go back to work before. Yeah. It doesn't mean you should stay in the house for three years. Usually, people go back in one year. In one year. 
So during these Elton tides, you are entitled to um, parental allowance. It depends also they calculate it on your salary, like what you were getting, before. like twelve it's months before. before. Yeah. Again, exactly. So we know by now we'll be thinking, wow, um, it's so good here in Germany, but you have to bear in mind that you will be having thousands of paperwork to do before you even get a cent. You know. Like if there is a delay in any of those paperwork, you know you you have like thousand of papers to fill in and sign, and you have to fill in all those paper in time. Like you may only have a delay of six months, you know. Mm -hmm. Like in many cases, if you just fail to submit any paper, if you submit it late, the simplest paper, you know, just count, <laughs> just count yourself six months, you know, to that you have to wait. So there are a lot of you know, as you all know, Germany with paperwork. It's, it's like a crazy something. Like there are also other benefits like child benefits, you know, uh, child care benefits or the allowances, and you can also get child care allowance because sometimes kinder, um, kindergarten and, and kita and everything can be expensive. Okay. One important thing again, you guys, you know, if you are like if you are pregnant for the first time and you are like a single mom, you don't know much about the system in Germany. You know, they offer a lot of. Help. If you don't know what to do, you can always go on Google. Or the best thing to do is to locate the rat house near in your city. Yeah, like you can you always know? go to the city hall and ask oh. for information. They will give you everything. They will send mm -hmm. you, you know. They can even give you someone special just to help you, take you around. Like do even your, your appointment for you, tell you what to do. So there are thousands of mm -hmm. ways. Yep. And also, um, because you're a first time mom, obviously you want it's better to attend like uh, childbirth yeah, classes, yeah. which you can get the information from your gynecologist. You have to look for a hair mm -hmm. you know, a hair barmer is a midwife. Mm -hmm. So they do the childbirth classes and they show you what to do, what to expect, blah blah, things like that. So you've got already someone on your side. Uh, you, you you won't panic your first time mom you know everything about childbirth now because you've got a midwife to help you with that your midwife can also help you after you give birth because of your insurance you've got a, ben a benefits of um, having a midwife I think 12 the midwife comes 12 days like after you 12 times after you give birth and sometimes if it's like maybe you gave birth with a c-section or the, it's like you've got twins or something then it can be longer you know and all this is covered by the insurance you know and if you've got problems like problems uh like you don't know things as nikki said the last time you can go to the rat house or you can also go to the union aunt i think yeah. you know or they're also um like organizations like caritas, caritas pro familia yeah. diocone you know even even mm. clothes kinder yeah. whatever yeah. you need but they help you them. you can talk to them like for example they they they, they talk to you in everything mm. if you are stressed about your pregnancy yes, and yeah. you don't know, know what to do they talk to you they cancel so, you yeah. if you you've got problems with money you find a way to make something you don't have money to buy baby's clothes right. you I mean like a lot of things they offer a lot of um, help. help exactly in different cases not only money wise not only clothes wise yeah, right. but also talking to you you yeah. know make Google your friend so you can Google all these things or you can Ask the, your, your midwife and everything, I mean, they tell you everything. 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 Like we said, you, know, you just have to talk mm -hmm. to the right people, meet mm -hmm. the right people, and yeah, just make sure before you give birth, you have all the necessary information. Even because mm -hmm. even the, the child allowance mm -hmm. is a process. You have to. And also, what is important is that, you know, insurances are different. Yeah. So, so make sure you, you have know to know. The type because. Of insurance. At the end of the day, you will pay a lot of That's money for all those things, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I know uh, people who did pay for all those things. You uh, understand? And if they tell you the amount, exactly. So make sure if you are mm -hmm. pregnant, go you, to your insurance company and find ask out. Them, find out mm -hmm. if what is what is being covered by them and not. Mm -hmm. So uh -huh. before you put yourself into debt, exactly. We know what we're talking about. Yeah, we know. We have experience, but we know it. Yeah.
you know so you guys so that is all for this video today hope you guys liked it and enjoy <laughs> and enjoyed it Watching. and um i'm sure it's going to help someone out there okay. because you know uh when i was pregnant i was I, I i you know every time i'm pregnant i google a lot of things i'm like oh what should i do you know, so yeah. blah 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 you know it's, so it's natural it's obviously going to, to help you know. someone you know because yeah exactly a lot of people panic they don't know what to do they're like stressed and everything but it's okay you guys just don't panic. yeah exactly just watch our video and nice. yeah you can if also you have any question just put them down in the comment section below and we'll reply to him and as you know a lot of people also germans out there they also reply to comment even which is really great and thank you guys for doing that you know like we go to comments now remain for us we see like nine and reply i'll be like wow you know mm -hmm. so yeah it's good also comments. because a lot of people know a lot of things you understand you yeah, can yeah. Uh, exchange information and you know. yeah you know people have got different experiences yeah. so i think it's super super good so guys you and know? if you love this video we may also do the advantages and disadvantages you know so let mm -hmm. us know your Which thoughts. one you like best? Disadvantages yeah. of or being advantages. pregnant in Germany or, or advantages? advantages. Mm. So you guys, thank you, thank you for watching our videos. Don't forget to subscribe and like, you know, <laughs> give it the thumbs up. So you guys, uh, see you in our next video. video.